Hello, I am Thorstein from Cinema Terror, and today I have another film that I recently saw on the fantastic horror film festival called Ramaskrik here in Norway. The Glass Coffin is a new Spanish intense thriller that will remind you of the good old Giallo movies of the 70s, mixed in with modern colorful style and masterful directing. Amanda. Asumero. The film is about the successful actress Amanda, who are getting ready for a night of celebration as she is due to receive a Lifetime Achievement Award for the work in cinema. The limousine that is driving her there is filled with all the lavish necessities that suits a star of her quality, but the night does not go as expected for Amanda when she finds out that she is trapped inside the limousine, and she is not driving to the award show as expected. The person driving the limousine has a grudge against Amanda and is ready to put her through humiliation and pain before the drive is over. The Glass Coffin spends about 60 of its 75 minute long running time within the confined space of the limousine, which could get dull quite quickly, but thanks to the brilliant and stylized way the film is shot, it is able to keep its intensity for nearly the entire running time. I should also give praise to the actress Paula Bontempi, who has to carry the movie as she's basically the only real character in the film. Thankfully, her performance is strong and she makes her character Amanda come to life and feel real. I felt every bit of pain that she went through and was hoping that she would end up alive when it was all over. Filming only one single character within such a small place is quite a challenge when it comes to keeping the film look interesting and pace along nicely. Thankfully, first time director Haritz Subilaga knows exactly what he's doing and does a brilliant job here together with cinematographer John D. Dominguez. The look of the film should please fans of Giallo movies, same with the way the kidnapper is being portrayed. The last final part of the film does go a bit over the top, but since it also brings a more creepy feel to the film, it all ends up working just fine. The Glass Coffin is an intense, beautiful shot film that keeps you guessing what comes next. Fans of giallo movies or just modern thrillers in general should find plenty about this film to make it be a worthwhile a purchase. I had a blast with this film, even if it does go dark with the subject matter, I would absolutely give this a strong recommendation. The Glass Coffin gets a 4 out of 5. Anyone else been able to see The Glass Coffin yet? Or any other new Spanish thrillers that you would like to recommend? Personally, I'd like to add in that Jaime Balagueros 2011 Sleep Tight should be mentioned in that regards. Oh, and for more movie reviews, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.